better, way, way better. Uh, finally starting to get my extension back and and, and to get it backwards. Uh, I'm finally starting to get my range back and my shot and my strength back. So everything is coming along faster than we expected. So hopefully, well, I'll be ready for Saturday. Can you kind of speak to this first time we talked to you, but that was kind of a, a scary scene, kind of was screaming on, what do you remember about diving for the ball and then, you know, the sequence? Well, I remember, uh, I think it was the first play of the game, actually. I was trying to get through a screen guard and uh, Robert Wooder and my zigzag arm got caught and kind of like, almost like semi hyper extended it. So it was kind of aching already, that in my shoulder. So I had went to the back uh, with Clark to get it, you know, wrapped up and, and taped up. So as soon as I came back, I just remember it was a loose ball and I planted, I tried to plant my hand down to get it and I just felt someone dive into the back of it and, and it was just like a whole shock numbness through the arm. I thought it was broke, honestly, but like, like Clark said, we, we lucky we dodged a, a huge bullet. How difficult have these last two games been for you not being able to be out there? Uh, it's been very difficult. Um, even though I know my, my, my teammates are very capable of winning, you know, when any player go down, we got a lot of guys willing to step up and, and, and make huge plays. It's just the fact that I couldn't be out there to help them, you know, and, and, and contribute to the game the ways that I do. Um, that just, the most part, that bothered me. But, you know, I'm, I'm back now, so we've been practicing hard. Um, Finally getting everybody back, you know, Herb still kind of hurt, but, you know, he's coming along good, I'm coming along, so hopefully we can make a run these these last few weeks. Did you campaign at all at the end of the game, last game, when things were kind of going south? Did you try to get into the game, or is that just off, off limits from the start? No, nah, that, was, that was off limits. Um, I, I tried um, to, but, you know, they didn't want to take any risks, me getting out there, falling again, because I hadn't, before up to that time, I hadn't really went through any, like, contact uh, stuff, anything physical. Why? So he didn't really want me to go out there, just put me out there in the game without actually doing something like one on one yet. So uh, shooting, you know, shooting and shooting threes especially is a lot of rhythm, a lot of you know feel. You know, you talk about you get strength back. How did you feel? Because even during warmups, like some of the shots were kind of a little short or just not on rhythm for, for what you're used to. So. Uh, I, it was, it was kind of difficult. Um, it was mostly just my strength. Um, everything in my wrist uh, kind of up with my hand and my and my fingers really didn't bother me, honestly. It was just mostly me getting the ball there. Everything else was cool, so that's what we've been mainly focusing on, you know, getting the strength back in the elbow and my forearm, basically. But what You mentioned uh, practice contact. Have you gone through? Yeah, the last two days I practiced with the team. Um, before that, um, I did some one-on-one uh, -on -one contact drills with a pass, so I feel like that I'm pretty prepared. I took a lot of, you know, I told the guy, like, just because I was hurt, don't, don't like, shy back or, you know, when you see me come at me, don't, like, slow up, like, hit me like they're doing the game. So they did a pretty good job at getting me prepared for what's coming, so I feel like I'm ready. Coach has talked a lot about effort, and that's what he wants to see over the next at least two games. As a leader on this team, how do you plan to, to kind of spearhead that? Um, like I just told the guys, so we just got to look ourselves in the mirror. Um, this ain't the way we wanted the season to start. Um, I mean, in this ain't the way we wanted it to go, but we dug ourselves in this hole, so now we got to look ourselves in the mirror. Ask, so we just going to quit here or we're going to keep fighting to try to push to our goals. So all the guys, I feel like all the guys responded to that well because the last two days of practice have been great with effort, you know, guys practicing hard. So I feel like they answer, we're going to answer the bell coming do, around. Do you feel like there's been complete buy-in from everybody on this roster? for what Nate is trying to do, or is there still some, you know, some places where it's it's not all there yet? I feel like everybody bought in. Um, you know, it's just the emotion of games where stuff started to go, you know, south. But that's just part of basketball. But uh, for, the more, for the most part, I feel like everyone's bought in. They know uh, what Coach Oates' uh, system is capable of doing, because uh, I'm pretty sure you didn't see, everybody didn't see, you know, with the big games we had. So I think everybody locked in and bought in with him. We just, just got to make it happen. So Nick, going back to even before the season, Coach Oates, I, I guess, here's regular things from NBA people, and your name has been, been buzzy during the course of the last couple months. Hey, how much have you heard just about, wait, whether it's from him or anybody else, just where you stand and just what NBA teams are looking at you as at this point in terms of a potential round? Um, you know, I, I tend to, you know, I leave that up to my mom. My mom, she, she, she does, like, all the social media and stuff. Uh, I let her get on my account sometimes. So I, I really leave that up to her. You know, I tell her, I, I got enough stuff to worry about already, you know, with school, 
you know, uh, maintaining basketball, or maintaining, you know, talking to my daughter every day. So I have a lot of stuff that's that's already on my mind. So she she does a great job, you know, keeping me clear headed, but focusing on stuff that actually matters at the time. And we we'll, she told me we'll talk about that later. So hey, I talk about that. Something that, like you guys talk about. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. With yeah, any coach mm -hmm. or with you and coach Oates? Nah, not not necessarily. You know, he try to he try to keep us focused on the goals too. You know, especially you know things haven't been going too well. So I haven't really been focusing about it. Then this occurred. So. Everything just been been moving pretty fast lately. Thanks, Sean. Thanks. Thanks.